Dave Parody here. In this video, I want to uh, talk to you about how we work with screen captures, uh, the screen capture images on our slides in PowerPoint. These are the types of things that we want to be able to do. Here, this is a screen capture that uh, is of a web application, but instead of this, which is very hard to understand, they've got a couple little red arrows there. What we can do is we can talk about this screen capture. Here's the area we want them to focus on. Let's make that larger. I want you to do this with this drop down list and then select these options here. Much more effective, much more powerful when we use screen captures appropriately. Here's another one where they're trying to talk about some steps using text and, and the screen captures from, this is from an Excel spreadsheet. Well, I did this. First thing is highlight the cells, copy them, and then paste special and select values only. So it allows you to be able to use the screen captures far more effectively. This is a final one. Uh, they have, again, this is from a web application at a company and they're highlighting this area. More effective for me to say, now, this is the area I want you to look at. And here, let's take a look at what you can do actually by customizing it to each of the territories. All of those are screen captures. It's common that we need to use them when we're illustrating something on a website, on an application, uh, some other type of thing that's shown on our screen that we want to put into our slides. Here's what I want to do in this video. Here's our agenda. I want to talk to you first about four ways to capture the screen. Uh, capturing PDF content, which is kind of like screen capture. Uh, formatting it. So how do we actually get it into the the slide and then and format it? Those zoom in portions, you saw when I took a part of it and zoomed in on it, made it bigger. How do you create those? How do you make those happen? We'll talk about that. Adding the callouts so that people know where on the screen capture you want them to look. And finally, animating them. How does that actually work? So